Hello everybody and welcome back to another story at LLB Society. This time I'm gonna tell you a story from Aesop. Uh, hope you will find it useful and learn some vocabulary. And also uh, this is intended to improve your listening and reading comprehension in context. Uh, the title is The Goat Herd and the Wild Goats. As I said, it's an English fairy tale from Aesop. And this is the cover photo. Uh, okay, I'm going to narrate it and uh, read it out to you and focus on some vocabulary and you can uh, enjoy the story because it's so didactic and you can also learn something and take some lesson from that. So, the goatherd and the wild goats. Uh, who's a goatherd? It's like a shepherd, you know, and uh, herd uh, means flock. So, it means that a person who is in charge of a lot of uh, a herd of goats, like shepherd, who is in charge of a herd of sheep. You know, shepherd uh, has been formed uh, by sheep plus herd, shepherd. Okay. And, you know, there are some uh, hyperlinks here. And if you could, if you just click on any of, uh, any one of these, you will... Uh, see the meanings of them and also they have been used in other posts or lessons this way you can learn vocabulary in context and LLB society is number one perhaps in the entire world actually uh, where you can learn vocabulary in context particularly with images we have uh, over 2400 vocabulary items in, in context with images that is illustrated so, <clears throat> I'm not going to just show them to you because it takes a lot of time, so you can just do it on your own. A goatherd driving his flock, means a herd of goats here in this context, from their pasture at eventide, means evening at night, found some wild goats mingled among them. So, let me just explain what has happened to your so uh, a shepherd or goater driving his flock from their pasture it means uh actually grazing and uh, feeding on uh grass so he wanted to gather them at night uh, or in the evening uh, and accidentally he found some wild goats some strangers mingled among them socializing among his own goats and he became greedy and he thought that i could have also those strangers and uh, uh, they could belong to me and shut them up together with his own for the night so he just uh, led them inside the fold f-o-l-d a place where you keep cattle you know are uh, like a stable so uh, the next day it snowed very hard so that he could not take the herd to their usual feeding places so because it was snowy uh, and perhaps very cold the gutter couldn't just uh, lead out their herd for uh, actually to, to feed them but was obliged to keep them in the fold obliged to it means it was obligatory and necessary so he had to keep them inside indoor let's say in the fold okay because it was cold and snowy he gave his own goats just sufficient food to keep them alive but fed the strangers more abundantly in the hope of enticing them to stay with him and of making them his own. Uh, yeah, the, the, some vocabulary are so, uh, perhaps, uh, some, some of them, not all of them, are obsolete and literary, let's say, because, you know, uh, this is the translation of uh, uh, the original uh, fable in Greek uh, by Aesop and uh, usually when uh, uh, some literary works are translated 
we tend to just use some uh, let's say not ordinary words but anyway it's good for you to learn some new vocabulary and brush up your vocabulary so he gave his own goats just sufficient means enough or adequate food to keep them alive so so that they could uh, they could stay alive I mean his own uh, ordinary uh, goats but instead fed the strangers the wild goats more abundantly means plenty of food abundant if you just click on that you will see uh, not only abundant but also uh, the other let's say synonyms in context abundantly means prof profusely and um, prolifically let's say abundantly so he gave a lot of food uh, to the strangers so that in the hope of enticing them or motivating them or wheedling them or deceiving them entice or let's say inducing them i-n-d-u-c-e -E, inducing them to stay with him and of making them his own so he wanted them to uh to just uh be his i mean a part of uh, his property and cattle like the other one he wanted to have more uh, let's say goats so it's a sign of greed or avarice or cupidity so uh, when the thaw set in thaw means uh, warm weather natural normal weather because it, before it was really cold but when the thaw set in so it became warmer he let them all out to feed and the wild goats scampered away as fast as they could to the mountains so as soon as he let out the animals all of them from the fold the wild goats just ran away or escaped sc scampered away so as fast as they could to the mountains so they just escaped and vanished the goat herd scolded them for their ingratitude in leaving him so the shepherd or goat herd scolded means blamed or criticized or chided them for their ingratitude they said of not being grateful in gratitude not being grateful in leaving him because actually they left him when during the storm he had he had taken more care of them than of his own herd because you know uh, he prioritized them the wild goats to his own goats okay so it was he believed that it was it was not fair uh, of them to leave the goat herd see what I mean uh, by the way this story I mean the text is there I will give you the link to this uh, a script or a text adopted from Gutenberg project which is which falls into the category of a public library it means everybody can use it so uh, one of them turning about one of them one of the wild goats said to him so one of the goats of wild goats uh, answered that is the very reason why we are so cautious for if you yesterday treated us better than the goats you have had so so long it is plain that it is plain also that if others came after us you would in the same manner prefer them to ourselves so that was a relatively long sentence so let me just go back and analyze it uh, so uh, this is this part in quotation marks uh, belongs to one of the wild goats that is the very reason that is the exact reason why we are so cautious and why we are leaving leaving you so cautious means careful discreet and attentive for because you know uh, you yesterday treated us so well compared to your own goats and uh, so it is uh, obvious plain means obvious that if some new goats just drop in or 
uh, actually are available you would again prioritize them to us because we would be old goats not new goats so uh, it's important let me see if there is something to know if others came after us you would in the same manner prefer or prioritize them to ourselves okay so clear I did my best to just clarify that and uh, related idioms and uh, proverbs or phrases uh, old friends cannot with impunity be sacrificed for new ones this is the central message of this uh, st uh, story old friends cannot with impunity it means without punishment with impunity without criticism without punishment so old friends cannot be sacrificed or replaced uh, with new ones uh, with impunity it means if you just prioritize or let's say replace uh, old friends with new friends you must face the music it means oh, it's not easy to just do that without expecting any punishment so as you can see here uh, is exactly what happens here in this story and also there is another idiom or proverb that is somehow related or associated with this story don't buy the hand that feeds you it means don't show ingratitude or lack of gratitude bite the hand that feeds you remember if you just click on these hyperlinks you will find related materials in the form of stories short stories pa passages articles etc fair weather friend uh who is a fair fair weather friend a friend who is fair weather or a, a fair weather friend is one friend or let's say pseudo friend that is just your friend or uh, whenever everything is good i mean you are in a good situation you're in a good condition but whenever actually you're facing any problem they will leave you alone they will leave you high and dry so we call them fair weather friends and uh, let me show you the meta uh, data of this uh, story this uh, story falls into the category of english short stories and also fairy tales and also reading practice in english because you can practice reading comprehension uh, in uh, in, the, in in a variety of forms including short stories stories and fairy tales and also Aesop fables if you just click on that you will find all the um, uh, fables or tales from Aesop that have been uh, used at the little bit society and also you can uh, improve your vocabulary by the hand that feeds you cattle fair weather friend flock friends friendship and gratitude livestock shepherd and uh, let me show you their related lessons related lessons another fairy tale from Aesop the eagle and the jackdaw or crow and uh, uh, the north wind and the sun another fairy tale by Aesop and also ovine uh, which is a technical term from the book uh, 601 uh, words you need to know 601 uh, words you need to know to pass your exam which is an advanced one of the most advanced vocabulary books I've ever seen and uh, this book uh, actually this word uh, has been adopted from this uh, book but it has been used in a, a unique context and ovine means uh, sheep or rams you know and it's a part of it's a branch of cattle or livestock and uh, yeah that's it i really hope you enjoyed that if if you did please subscribe to our youtube channel and also give it us a thumbs up thank you very much for your attention and see you soon in the next video bye bye everybody